All right, folks, that's the president earlier today. Joining us now is uh, Tom Tamcredo, former Colorado congressman, former presidential candidate and author of In Mortal Danger, The Battle for America's Border and Security. Hello, Congressman. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm all right. All right. The president's speaking today about the two issues. First, let's you and I get to the, uh, the, the bill being debated still as we speak uh, by the Republicans in the, in the House. Um, should they pass anything, or does not the president have the authority uh, to fix this on his own without spending all this money? Of course he has. Uh, now he'll do something that's probably extra constitutional when he does do whatever he is threatening, but at the present time he could do it in quite a legal manner. There is uh, every, you know, all he has to do, of course, is say to, for instance, Mexico, that if you continue to allow this, this migration through your country um, and facilitate the invasion of America on our southern borders, we will withdraw all financial support and aid for you in any, any way. Then you tell exactly the same thing to all of the other countries from which these children are coming, and you tell the ambassadors to those countries to inform their host government that indeed all these people are coming back, um, they'll be on the plane soon, and or by other means of transportation, there better be somebody there to meet them because they're coming back. And of course, all this posturing, uh, uh, passing a bill now in the House, the president already said today that um, right now the Republicans are debating uh, the, the most extreme, unpassable version of the bill. He says it'll never pass the Senate, and if it did, he wouldn't sign it. So uh, this is more theater than anything else, is it not? It is absolutely that, and people have to understand this. And you know, not just general audience, the people we're talking to, the Republicans in this Congress, I wrote a, a column today, it will appear tomorrow in World Net Daily, I write a weekly column, and it's titled uh, in, in Spanish, I'll translate it into English for you, but the, we put the title in Spanish, as Senor, Senor Memo to, to Senor uh, Boehner, uh, Grow a Pair, because in, in fact, you see, there is plenty that the, st that the Republicans in Congress could do, some of the things I just suggested, right. for instance, but but are so afraid of this thing called, this myth called uh, a, a Hispanic vote reprisal. We just got a, a Pew poll in not too long ago. Now, Pew is not on our side, okay? Pew Hispanic Trust, that's generally where these things come from. They don't write things that, that slant right to the right. It's just the opposite. Their own poll shows that a majority of Hispanics in this country oppose this activity on the border, oppose the, the continual uh, uh, invasion, and want, by a majority now, want a swifter action on the part of the government to return these kids to their home. All right, that, so, that, I, that, I'm you know. glad you brought that up, but I also want to get to, in the time we have left, uh, Congressman, the president also, you heard him say that uh, while Congress is on vacation, I'll have to make tough choices uh, with or without Congress. We have a minute left. This is referring to the, uh, the, the broader immigration issue where we many expect him to sign an executive order granting amnesty. He will do exactly that. And, and I mean, there's no two ways about it. He is posturing for it. It's preparing for the next he you know what remember remember the the adage that was so often quoted in his administration and that was never lose the never um, lose the advantage that a crisis gives you right this is a crisis they've created and they're going to play this thing out right. as far as they possibly can and, and you want benefit. and you want Boehner to grow a pair and take action that's right buddy all right i appreciate it congressman short but sweet thank you very much thank you and the book folks in mortal danger the battle for america's border and security by a former congressman uh, Tom Tamcredo from the great state of Colorado. And we'll be back with Chief Congressional Correspondent for the Washington Examiner, Susan Ferreccio, after the break. But first, here's your Max to Money moment about gifting from your estate. You're watching Max to Money. It's better to give than to receive, so they say. But when it comes to your taxes, giving or gifting could save you money down the road. The benefits of annual gifting is you get some money out of your estate systematically every year. You can give $14,000 to a child, or if you're married, you can give $28,000 per person. But more important than getting money out of your estate, I think it's important while you're young and healthy to help your kids, whether you can improve their lifestyle, help them with education, you can help them buy a new house, you can help them pay for health care, you can fund education for grandkids. Gifting to family members involves tough decisions about when, how, and in what form to gift. Before doing so, talk with your attorney and your accountant. I'm Karina Brez. 
Get more money news at Newsmax.com.